Welcome to OET Answers. Your preparation time is over. You can now start your little speaking role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning, Patricia. I am your attending nurse, Narso Andrew. Can you please confirm the reason for your appointment? Good morning, Andrew. I have type 1 diabetes and my doctor has recommended the pneumonia vaccination. That's why I've booked the appointment. All right, Patricia. Do you have any concerns to be clarified? Even though my doctor recommended pneumonia vaccination, I have been thinking about it all the way to the clinic. And now I don't know if I really want to have it. I acknowledge your concern, but Patricia, I can explain to you why your doctor recommends pneumonia vaccination. Yes, I would like to know about it. For your understanding, pneumonia vaccination is also known as the pneumococcal vaccine, which gives protection against the range of infections caused by a pneumococcal bacteria. Well, Patricia, do you have any specific reasons for your reluctance to take the vaccination? Actually, nurse, I have already received the annual flu vaccination and it is enough. After the flu vaccination, I was ill. That's why I don't need any more vaccinations. I am sorry to hear that, Patricia. By the way, may I know about your after effects of flu vaccination in detail? Sure. I felt very feverish for several days and felt so tired. Moreover, my arm was also so severe that I wasn't even able to move my arm after the flu vaccination. I do not want to be sick anymore. Okay, I really understand how you go through the situation. And what about your appetite? It was okay. Beyond those symptoms, I didn't experience any. Patricia, as you had after effects from flu vaccination, you can expect the possibilities of after effects for pneumococcal vaccination as well. Nothing to be overly concerned about. For your clarification, let me tell you what you can expect. If you do take the vaccine and if you do not have the vaccination. Yes, nurse, I wish to know about it. Patricia, firstly, if you take the vaccine, you may encounter some side effects that are similar to that of flu vaccination, which will be generally mild and short term. These side effects will be relieved with paracetamol as well as with increased fluid intake. Okay, and now what if I don't take the vaccine? Perhaps, if you do not comply with vaccination, you are at higher risk of contracting a pneumococcal infection, which can have severe consequences on you like pneumonia, leukemia, meningitis, etc., which in the worst scenario can even be fatal. Yes, nurse, I understand that. But I don't wish to take the vaccination because I am less likely to get pneumonia than the flu. Your thoughts are quite reasonable. However, it is important for you to know about the vulnerability of pneumonia to your health. I would like to hear about that. Patricia, your age is the first factor as you are 65 years old. Your body will be weak normally. Secondly, as you have type 1 diabetes, it affects your immune system. Long-standing diabetes weakens your immune system and increases your predisposition to diseases and infections. I hope you understand the risk involved. All right. I have to consider those factors as well, isn't it? Absolutely, Patricia. You have to consider these factors as well. Okay. I understand the need for the vaccination a little more now. Good to hear from you, Patricia. So now, are you willing to take the vaccination? Yes, nurse. I will go ahead and have the vaccination. Glad to hear that, Patricia. I can reassure you that it is completely safe to have the pneumococcal vaccination. All right, nurse. Thank you for this reassurance. Thank you for your understanding. Can I get your consent for the pneumococcal vaccination? Sure, nurse. 
You may please proceed with the vaccination. Thank you for your consent, Patricia. I really appreciate your decision. Thank you. That is the end of your speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.